Marco and Kira, our grandkids. Y'all, Kira really wants to be part of the video today, so we're going to do our best to get through this. She's got a cough due to allergies. You know it's that time of year. You okay, sweetie? Okay. <laughs> are you happy to be here? Yes. What are we going to make? Avalanches. Avalanches for Easter. Easter. So avalanche is one of my very favorite treats to make because you can make it so seasonal. And what are we going to start off with, Marco? White chocolate chips. White chocolate chips. As always, the ingredients are on the blog. Kira, what are we going to do here? chopped white chocolate and this is one of my favorite bars as you all know the lint white chocolate bar we have that too yes and now what we're going to do is go back here to the stove top and use the bain marie to start melting it friends you know the bain marie is the saucepan with about an inch of water that's simmering so i put our glass bowl full of those yummy chocolate chips and chopped up chocolate bar, and those are gonna start melting over the Ban Marie. Be patient and stir, and don't forget, we don't want any steam escaping from the saucepan to seize the chocolate. These ingredients don't take long to melt. So Marco, what are you going to start with? Cadbury cream eggs. And what's Easter without Cadbury, right? You want to put that in the bowl? And this is all up to you. This mixture right here is good to go. But I thought because it's Easter, and what's Easter without a Cadbury egg, we're going to put that in. Marco, what's the next ingredient we add after we add the Cadbury we eggs? Um, add lin, um, chocolate chips. Yeah, white chocolate. White chocolate. White chocolate truffles white made chocolate. by Lindor. Oh, yes, and those are already melting. Yum. Very good. Show everybody what it looks like. And then, Mimi's going to add the peanut butter. You can use plain or crunchy. Kira, what's the next ingredient for these yummy avalanches? Marshmallows? Yay! You want to pour them in for me? We're going to head back over to the Ban Marie, let the rest of this melt for just a couple of minutes, and then show you how we're going to finish it off. We're ready now to add everything else you need to make an Easter avalanche that will change your life. Oh yeah, <laughs> come on back. What's this? Rice Krispies. Yes. So you want to fold the, you want to pour it? We milk? also used it in a Rice Krispie treat video. That's right. Oh, Marco and Kara made a great Rice Krispie treat video. Oh, perfect, sweetie. And what are you going to add, sweetie? M&M's. M&M's. Plain. You want to go ahead and add those, hun? Yeah. Keep going. Good job. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You can just pour them in, hun. There we go. <laughs> you want to save those? And Mimi's going to add some chopped pecans. We'll just fold that yummy mixture around in the bowl, y'all. And like you're folding laundry. Yes, exactly. Do you exactly. fold laundry at home? Whoa. Do you get an allowance? Yes. We also made a list at home. It's upstairs. It is? Is it of your chores? Yes. Oh, and do you follow the and list? And one at the very end um, yeah. is like, it's after all the cleanup. Yes. Yay, that's awesome. Now, y'all, it's time to pour these avalanches into our prepared 9 by 13 pan 
with heavy aluminum foil, which is going to act as your lifting station to lift it out. The mixture is spread in there. We're going to sprinkle the top with a few M&Ms. Do you want to try? Very nice. If you're in a hurry to eat them, let it sit out for maybe a half hour and then pop it in the fridge for a half an hour and then they're good to go. But those don't have to be refrigerated. Well, guess what we made earlier? We made some avalanches to show you how you can make them into Easter shapes. We used a cookie cutter to make a little rabbit head. I love it. And now I think it's just about time to do what? Taste them. And who should we see? Do you think Poppy. somebody oh, okay. would go get Poppy? Poppy. Marco, Kira, do you want to taste? Poppy, do you want to taste? I think I'll pass since I'm not a peanut butter fan. Poor Poppy. He misses out on so many delicious things because do. he doesn't like peanut butter. I do. So shall we? What do you guys think? Mm. Y'all, I think we've had a little oh, taste of heaven right here in Austin, Texas. <laughs> like this video, share with your friends, and subscribe. Thank you, Marco. Two words, friends, Blake Shelton. We don't have a winner yet, so bring Blake to Austin. This has been so much fun. Thank you for being in the Truffle Kitchen. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter. Love y'all. Bye. Bye. Bye.